the thing with the cane cutters is a lot of, of people need to know that we have – it's a Texas Collegiate League. There's five teams in the league. So these kids that play at UL, LSU, Texas A&M, all over the country, Southeastern, Nichols, uh, UNO, all over actually, um, come in for the summer and they play a 48-game schedule. And those kids live with people in our community. Good morning, everyone. My name is Brad Gilbert with K Real Estate, and I'm with the Cane Cutters because Ricky Van Asselberg. That's it. Yes, sir. How you doing? I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing? Good, man. I appreciate y'all having us today. Absolutely. It's been a pleasure. Well, tell us about uh, your journey to Lafayette and the Cane Cutters. Well, um, 25 years, uh, 24 years, actually, in pro baseball. Um, we came down to to Lafayette to uh, play the cane cutters last year when I, I took a job in Dallas with the Dallas Marshals in the Texas Collegiate League. Uh, came down to Lafayette and I'm actually from South Louisiana. So we came down and and played the cane cutters and, and met Richard Chalmers, which is the owner of the cane cutters and just enjoyed my conversation with him. And, and after the season was over, he called me on the phone and asked me if I'd be interested in, in, in managing the cane cutters in the 2019 season. And, you know, I really didn't know what to do. You know, we live in Dallas, Texas, so we came down and visited him and my wife. Or me and my wife came and visited Richard and, and his wife, Sandy, and they offered me the coaching job for 2019 season. So we took it, came down, played the season. After the season was over, he he uh, offered me the general managing job. And uh, being from South Louisiana, I'd been gone, you know, like I say, in pro ball for so many years. We hadn't, I hadn't been home and, and I just had such a great summer and meeting so many great people and, and enjoyed it so much. And he offered me the job. I called my wife, put the ranch for sale, and here we are, South Louisiana. Awesome. Well, uh, tell us about kind of your history of the cane cutters and the games and how much fun the community can have with y'all and well, people. <clears throat> the thing with the cane cutters is a lot of, of people need to know that we have – it's a Texas Collegiate League. There's five teams in the league. So these kids that play at UL, LSU, Texas A&M, all over the country, Southeastern, Nichols, uh, UNO, all over actually, um, come in for the summer and they play a 48-game schedule. And those kids live with people in our community. Mm -hmm. And they get to know these, these families and they get to know these families' children and, and they bond, you know, they get a strong bond. So <clears throat> they come in and, and they play and they, they go out and we do all kind of appearances. And when you come to the ballpark, you know, we just redid all our concessions this year. We have a whole new concession. It's our 10th year anniversary. Awesome. Um, the thing is, we're going to do something different this year. We're going to uh, turn our, our thing more towards entertainment and, and baseball. Awesome. Instead of, of, of the baseball game being three and a half hours slow and dragging, it's going to be three hours of high tempo, good time, good food. Same thing everybody I know in South Louisiana loves because, you know, I, that's what I enjoy. And I, like I said, I've been in baseball for a long time and, and uh, got to keep that thing going. Absolutely. That's fantastic. Now tell us how uh, us as the community and K Real Estate, how we could be a part of it and how we can help you. Well, the thing is we sell tons of group packages where you could, like, for example, Katie Real Estate, if they wanted to come out and have a deck party, you mm -hmm. could bring your whole company out and, we give uh, food, um, uh, bear, uh, beer, margaritas, popcorn, peanuts, uh, fun jumps for the kids. Really, it's a it's a very good deal. You can't even go to the movies for the price that you could come out there for, and and it gets your your company together, and they're mingling and they're talking, and it's not like a meeting, and then they got a baseball game going on. You got music playing, you got awesome. activities going on in between innings. Uh, it's very, very affordable, very good entertainment. Uh, we put, we got fans out there. We got shaded areas, uh, a lot of stuff going on just to make sure the fans are first. You know, we, we try to make sure fans are first, baseball second. Sure. Now, when does your game start and uh, how do you get to actually the cane cutters? Many people don't know how to get there. Uh, we play at Fibacher Field okay. in Youngsville. Mm -hmm. um, our, all our games start at 7 o'clock. Mm -hmm. uh, you can – Buy tickets online on uh, Kadiana, canecuttersbaseball.com. Um, you can go on our Facebook page, and it, there's a little thing you can click on on there, and it'll take you to where you want to buy tickets. Or you can buy them game day. Uh, you can buy season tickets. 
all kind of, and we have tons of theme nights. We have like UL night, we have LSU night, uh, superhero night, military night, first responder night. So we do a lot of things to try to give back to the community to let people know because this is Youngsville. This is Acadiana's team. You know, it's it's uh, the Acadiana Cane Cutters. Uh, this is their team. This is something great to do with your kids, with your mm-hmm. family. Good food, good time, and and we just gotta, as a community, we gotta support it, or you know, it's just not gonna not gonna be here. Absolutely. Now, tell us what um what you spoke about earlier. You said uh, about after the games, what you're gonna do, like a barbecue and mingle with the players. Tell yeah. Us a so about that. so like opening night, we're uh. We're doing blowing it out, opening night. It's our 10th year anniversary. We're going to uh, have a live band before the game out in the parking lot. We're going to have some rock climbs, fun jumps, uh, a lot of mingling going on, a lot of people just getting ready for the season. Sure. Um, <clears throat> then after the game, we're going to have a, you know, a big barbecue for the, for the players and people that where they can you know, mingle and meet and, and get to know each other, sign autographs, stuff like that, because – we want the people to get to know the players so when they come to the games, they have a personal relationship with these kids. Um, so I, th- I think that's very important. I think that what makes college baseball such a good, you know, different than big league baseball is the, the personal connections you have with the players. So, you know, these kids are going to be out in the community all summer doing appearances and, and going and watching kids baseball games at summer leagues. And, mm-hmm. and so, you know, when you see one in the store, you can be like, hey, Josh, what's up? How you doing, buddy? Instead awesome. of, you know, hey, man. So we're looking forward to it. Great. Now tell me uh, the, the ages of your players. Like, is it college? Is it middle? Uh, like, t- tell me about more of your players. Well, <clears throat> all, of our, all of our players is from the ages of 18 to 22. Mm-hmm. Um, they're all, they have to be a, a red shirt freshman to a junior in college to play. They have to be on a baseball roster. Mm-hmm. Um, so all these, all these kids are college baseball players. You know, we got kids from uh, UL, LSU, um, New Mexico State. Southeastern, Nichols, um, UNO, um, Southern Mississippi. Fantastic. And I'm sure we got more, but oh, yeah. off, off the top of my head. But like I say, it's a lot. It's, a lot, it's all college baseball players, so it's it's good baseball, and they're they're learning how to hit with wood bats for the first time. So that makes it interesting. Uh, get trying to get these kids ready to play pro baseball. Great, fantastic. Ricky, is there anything you could um, possibly think of to tell the community about the King Cup? <clears throat> Uh, just, my thing is, uh, like I said, me and my wife are invested in South Louisiana, and we sold our house and our ranch back in Texas, and, and my daughter's a freshman in high school here, and now we're part of this community. So Great. for us to for us to make it work, we gotta we gotta support it. We got you know not so much asking people to spend a lot of money, just people to come out and and, and check it out, give us a chance, come see what it's what it's about, and and I promise you, you'll have a good time, and we'll make it where you want to come back. Of course, and that's like how we kind of met Laffy Convention Visitor Center. So we're now we're building a great relationship, yeah. and we're going to be working together and having fun. Yeah, well, you know what? It's a small world, man. And, and like I say, it's, you know, good. that day we met, I'll never forget it. We went to lunch and, mm-hmm. and met your dad, and, and, and everybody that I've met at Key Real Estate is, is first-class people, that's for sure. Absolutely. We're looking forward to it.